I'm one of good friends and uh, they asked me if I want to quote uh, the Israel TV. I said, sure, you know, uh, it would be great. And then, uh, uh, you know, I'm just trying to do a little share to support uh, the cause. You're notorious for being tough on the teams you coach. Are you tough on these guys? <laughs> 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 you get them to back check? No, you know what? I'm just going to go behind and try to support them as well as I can. <laughs> Thank <Show>. you. <laughs> was, uh, it's been a couple of years now. You getting the itch? For sure. To get back behind the bench? Yeah, you know what? Yeah. I wish to win a Stanley Cup. You know, I was close one time. And uh, I was two games away. Uh, I was really fortunate to be the coach in the NHL for 12 years. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have another opportunity again. And, uh, I work with the media a little bit. I have a radio show every day and I do some TV stuff for, uh, for back home in Montreal. Talk about the Montreal Canadiens. I've been really fortunate. And first of all, I'm from Montreal and I called that team twice and the last time I coached it for five years and uh, I was very really fortunate in my career to coach went through all three times and coaching those young young superstar and uh, winning three standard up here in Pittsburgh so if I had a chance to win a Stanley Cup this is my dream I wish uh, but if it doesn't happen I'm really uh, I really feel really fortunate to be playing the show for many years. What are your Thank memories you. of coaching the Penguins? Uh, the first full season, you know, like uh, coaching Sid, Gino, and all that, uh, Latang, all that young group of players. And even when I was in Woodsbury, tons of guys, you know, that I coached there when I moved to Pittsburgh, I moved to bring them with me. And uh, that was a special group, you could tell right from the start. Uh, and to see them to be successful, uh, hopefully, uh, because I'm not competing with them, I'm wishing that they're going to win in, uh, another Stanley Cup. <laughs> when I was coaching in Montreal, I was not cheering for them. <laughs> but now, you know, it's, uh, those guys have always been special to me, and they always will. And, uh, they're great, first of all, they're a great hockey player, but even more, they're great human beings. You know? So. Uh, that's my memories coaching those young guys. And the biggest memory that I got is uh, with that young core of players, we went to the Stanley Cup final really quick. And uh, that was a learning curve for them, I believe. Uh, have, you, have you followed the Penguins much at all this season? I didn't see them play much, to be quite honest. Yeah. Uh, I guess maybe I can ask you generally then. Uh, like players like Malkin, who are getting into their 30s now, are having some, some struggles. Is the game changing that much right now? The, the game is a little bit it's faster in the last few years. Um, I'm not worried about Gino, to be quite honest. Um, we, we're going to... Um, the important part of the season after the All-Star break is still 30-something 30, 30 game left to play. And he's such a good player that, I'm, to be honest, I'm not worried about him at all. So I know when the, ring, the bell is going to ring, he's going he's gonna to show up and he'll be there.